Welcome to the deep dive, everyone. Hey, everyone. Today we're diving into the world of crypto copy trading. Oh, yeah. And, you know, we've seen a ton of these headlines about people making thousands per month. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, you've been sifting through a stack of YouTube videos <laughs> trying to figure this out. So what's the real story? Is it really possible to make that much money? Well, before we get into whether or not it's possible to make thousands of dollars a month, let's just talk about what copy trading actually is. Okay. Um, so it's essentially outsourcing your crypto trading to more experienced traders. Okay. You choose a trader to copy, and then your account automatically mirrors their trades. So, like, if they buy Bitcoin, yeah. my account buys Bitcoin. That's right. Interesting. So theoretically, you win when they win and you lose when they lose. Gotcha. Well, that sounds pretty good, at least in theory, right? Yeah, I mean, it can be. But how do we even go about finding these expert traders? Well, there are a few tools that can help with that. Okay. One of them is called Deck Screener. Deck Screener. Okay. It's kind of like a search engine for decentralized exchanges. Mm -hmm. So you can use it to find traders who have been making big returns on specific coins. Oh, that's cool. So, like, if I'm looking for someone who's been killing it on Solana, yeah, I could use Deck Screener to see who's been generating the biggest returns, right? Exactly. One of the YouTube videos I was watching actually highlighted a trader who turned like four hundred and thirty-seven dollars wow. into over one hundred and two thousand dollars by trading some smaller cap coin on Solana. One hundred and two thousand—that's insane. Yeah, it is. But I'm guessing one big win doesn't necessarily mean they're a trading genius, right? Yeah, I mean, it definitely doesn't. You want to see consistent success, not just one lucky trade. Consistent success, gotcha. So we found a few potential candidates on Deck Screener. We've made sure their wins are consistent. Right. What's the next step? Do we just blindly copy their every trade? Ah, uh, not so fast. Ah. Before you trust anyone with your hard-earned crypto, yeah. you really need to do a little more research. Fine. And that's where SoulScan comes in. SoulScan. SoulScan lets you dive into a trader's wallet, basically, mm -hmm. and analyze their entire trading history. So we can see exactly what they're trading. Right. Okay, that's awesome. This is starting to feel like we're crypto detectives or something. It kind of is. So we've got Deck Screener to find potential traders and SoulScan to look into their trading history. Mm -hmm. What else? Well, if you want to stay ahead of the curve. Yeah. There are actually wallet tracking bots that can notify you in real time. Oh, wow. Whenever a specific trader makes a move. Oh, that's next level stuff. Hold uh, on. So, like, I could get a notification on my phone the second they buy or sell a certain coin. Yeah. That is wild. Yeah. The Solana Raybot wallet tracker is one example. Okay. So, we've got some serious tools at our disposal now. We do. This could be huge for someone who's really serious about copy trading. Absolutely. But before we go any further, yeah. I think it's really important to remember that. Mastering any skill takes time. Mm -hmm. It takes effort. It does. Yeah. This isn't some get-rich-quick scheme. Yeah. And you know what? Speaking of mastering a new skill, yeah. let's take a quick detour and talk about Brian Garvin's free affiliate guide. Okay. It's called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Awesome. And it has like over 12,300 words of, uh, you know, life-changing information. Wow. So you can find it at briangarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. The link's in his YouTube bio, so make sure to check that out while we're exploring mm -hmm. this world of crypto copy trading. <sighs> now back to our crypto investigation. Okay. We've got all these tools to find potential traders, but how do we actually know if they're any good? Well, you want to look beyond just those flashy ROI numbers, mm -hmm. analyze their actual trades, look at their trading frequency, the profit loss ratio, right. how they handle losses. Like, are they using stop loss orders? Oh, stop loss orders. Yeah. Those are crucial for protecting your capital. Yeah, they are. One red flag I saw in some of those videos is traders letting their trades go 100% or more in the negative. Oh, wow. So we're looking for someone who's smart about risk management, right. not just chasing those big wins. Exactly. And yeah. beyond analyzing their individual trades, yeah. you can look at platform data too, like Bidget, for example. Mm -hmm. They provide valuable metrics like their total P&L, their copiers P&L, okay. and AUM, mm -hmm. so their assets under management. So we're looking for consistency, mm -hmm. risk management, right. and a proven track record of success. Exactly. It's like we're interviewing candidates for our crypto portfolio. It kind of is. I love this. We're not just handing our hard-earned money over to anybody, are we? Nope. So speaking of platforms. Yeah. We've still got to find the right venue for all this copy trading action. Exactly. And that's what we'll be covering in part two of this deep dive. Can't wait. See you there. All right. See ya. All right. So welcome back to the deep dive. Yeah. We're back. 
ready to build our copy trading dream team. Absolutely. But before we go all in, I think we need to talk about platforms. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We've got to find the right venue for our crypto showdown. Absolutely. Choosing the right platform is really important. Mm -hmm. You know, you want something secure, user-friendly, right. and it's got to have the features you need right. to really execute your copy trading strategy. So from our research, Bing X and Bigit seem like the most popular options. Yeah. What are the key differences between the two? Well, Bing X is known for its zero slippage copy trading, okay. which basically means that you're getting the exact same price as the trader you're copying. Wait, hold on. Zero slippage. Zero slippage. What's the catch? Well, Bing X might not be available in all countries. Oh, right. Including the U.S., so always. The fine print. Got it. Yeah, always check. Okay, so Bing X is a strong contender, but what about Bigit? What makes it stand out? Well, Bigit's known for its really user-friendly interface. Okay. And they give you super comprehensive trader stats. Hmm. So it's a great option for beginners and experienced traders. And mm -hmm. actually, I've actually tried copy trading on Bigit myself. Wait, hold on. You actually put your money where your mouth is. I love it. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything. How did it go? Well, I started with $1,000 and I copied a few traders for three days. Okay. The results were, you know, modest. But... It was really valuable yeah. just to see firsthand how the platform works and the potential it offers. So you didn't become a crypto millionaire overnight? No, no, definitely not. But it really highlighted, you know, the importance of patience, risk management, and setting those realistic expectations. Absolutely. All right. So speaking of strategy. Yes. We've picked our platform. We've found our all-star traders. What's next? Well, now it's time to define our risk tolerance, our investment goals. Mm-hmm. So, you know, how much are we comfortable allocating? What kind of returns are we looking for? Gotcha. And most importantly, how much risk are we willing to take on? So we need to know our boundaries right. before we even think about hitting that copy trade button. Exactly. And once we've got our risk tolerance figured out, yeah. then it's time to diversify our portfolio. Diversify, diversify, diversify. Right. right. We don't want to put all our eggs in one basket. Exactly. Even if that basket is a so-called crypto god. Uh-huh. Right. right. <laughs> so we're building like a little mini portfolio of crypto experts, mm -hmm. each one with their own little special sauce. That's a great way to put it. Okay. What other strategies can we use to up our copy trading game? Well, some platforms give you the option to customize how you're copying a trader. Okay. So you can adjust things like your position size, mm -hmm. leverage, even pick and choose which trades you want to copy. Wait, leverage? Isn't that where things can get a little hairy? Leverage can be a great tool. Okay. You know, it can really amplify your gains, mm -hmm. but it can also amplify your losses. Right. So it's really, really important to use it with caution. Absolutely. And really understand how it works. Okay. So we've got our risk management plan in place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're diversifying our portfolio. Yeah. We're even customizing our copy trading settings. Do we just sit back and watch the money roll in now? I wish it were that easy, uh -huh. but it's not a set it and forget it kind of thing. You need to be actively involved. Okay. you got to be monitoring your portfolio, making adjustments as needed. So it's more like set it, monitor it, yeah. tweak it, right. and maybe, just maybe, watch some money roll in. That's a much better way to put it. Okay, so no autopilot mode here. Yeah. We're in the driver's seat. Yeah. It's like having a team of expert drivers. Yeah. But we're the ones with the map calling the shots. I love that analogy. And speaking of taking control of your financial future, yeah. let's take another quick detour yes. and talk about Brian Garvin's affiliate guide. Yes. Building multiple income streams is so important. Absolutely. And Brian Garvin's 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate is an incredible resource for that. It really is. Over 12,300 words wow. of actionable advice nice. and strategies. So head over to briangarvin.com. Yes. That's Brian with an I. Grab your free copy. The link's in his YouTube bio. All right, now back to our regularly scheduled program. Okay. We've been talking about monitoring our copy trading and adjusting our strategy, mm. but what are we actually looking for? Yeah. How do we know when it's time to switch things up, maybe find a new trader. Well, I mean, obviously consistent losses would be a huge red flag. Yeah, for sure. No matter how amazing their past performance was. Right. If they're consistently losing your money, mm -hmm. it's probably time to move on. We're not here to fund someone else's losing streak, that's for sure. <laughs> Another red flag I'd imagine is if a trader just like 
completely changes their strategy out of nowhere. Yeah, absolutely. Like, what if they were all about long-term Bitcoin holds and suddenly they're day trading meme coins? Yeah, that's not a good sign. Like, whoa, where'd you go? Right, if they're just chasing every trend. Yeah. That can be super risky. Okay, so we want a trader with a consistent, well-defined strategy. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, communication is key. Some platforms let you talk to the traders you're following. Okay. So don't be afraid to reach out ask questions, understand their thinking. Yeah. If they can't explain their strategy, it might be a red flag. So it's like we're building a relationship with our copy trading partners. Yeah. we got to trust their expertise, but also understand how they operate. I like that. Building trust is so important in any kind of financial partnership. Mm -hmm. And it's crypto. Things are going to be volatile. Oh, yeah. So e even the best traders will have losing streaks. Don't panic. Exactly. Take a deep breath. Look at the big picture and adjust your strategy if you need to. You got it. Okay, so we've got our eyes peeled for those red flags. We're staying informed and we're ready to adapt our strategy. This is starting to feel like a real adventure. It is. And like any adventure, it's important to have the right tools and resources. And speaking of resources. Wait a minute. You're going to mention Brian Garvin's affiliate guide again, aren't you? I am. That guide is packed with amazing information for anyone who wants to build a successful online business. And it's free. It is. Head over to BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. And grab your copy today. All right. Now back to our crypto exploration. Mm -hmm. We've talked about choosing traders setting up our strategy, monitoring performance, you know, even the psychological side of copy trading. But before we wrap up this part of our deep dive, I want to touch on the platform itself. Are there any like platform specific tips or best practices we should keep in mind? Yeah, that's a great point. I mean, the platform is your command center, right? Mm -hmm. So you really got to familiarize yourself with its interface, all of its features. You know, mm -hmm. each platform's a little different. Mm -hmm. So spend some time, you know, really learning how to navigate it, how to monitor your trades effectively. Right. It's like learning a new language. It is. You got to become fluent in copy trading platform. Exactly. And you know what? Fluency takes practice. It does. So don't be afraid to make mistakes, you know, just learn from them. The more comfortable you are with the platform, the more confident you'll be in executing your strategy. Practice makes perfect or at least less likely to accidentally lose all our money. Mm -hmm. So get comfortable with the platform learn its language, and practice, practice, practice. What else should we keep in mind? Fees are important. Most platforms charge a percentage of the profits that the traders you're following are generating. Oh, right, the fees. Always a catch, right? Yeah, I mean, the platform's got to make money somehow, but it does mean that their incentives are aligned with ours, right? Mm -hmm. The more the traders profit, the more the platform makes, the more we make. It's a win-win-win. It is, it is. But still, important to factor those fees in. Okay. Fees check. What else? What other platform specific tips? Well, you need to understand how orders are executed. Orders. Like when we decide to copy a trade. Exactly. When we hit that copy button, the platform has to execute that order for us. Mm -hmm. And different platforms use different methods. And that can really impact your results. Wow. Okay. So there's a whole behind the scenes operation happening when we hit that copy trade button. It's not as simple as it seems. It's not. You really got to understand how your platform handles things like order matching, slippage, and latency. Wait, hold on. Slippage. Do we talk about that with Bing X? Their zero slippage thing? Right. But not all platforms offer zero slippage. So slippage is a bad thing. Slippage can be a big deal, especially in volatile markets like crypto. Yeah. It's the difference between the price you expect to get and the price you actually get when the trade goes through. So, like, if there's a lot of slippage, mm -hmm. we might end up buying or selling at a way worse price than we thought we were going to. Exactly. It's something to really pay attention to when you're picking a platform. Okay, got it. Slippage is bad. What about latency? Latency is all about speed. Okay. It's the delay between you placing the order and it actually being executed. Ah, uh, so we want a fast platform. Makes okay. sense. Especially with copy trading, where we're, you know, trying to match someone else's trades perfectly. Right. Every millisecond counts. We can't afford to miss out on a good trade because our platform is slow. Exactly. You need a platform that can keep up. Okay. So reliable, fast, low slippage, ideally zero slippage. Mm -hmm. That's a lot to look for. It is. So do your research. Pick the right platform for your needs. And speaking of research. Oh, don't tell me. You're going to mention Brian Garvin's affiliate guide again. I am. That guide is a gold mine. 
It is. If you want to step up your online earning game, it's a must read. And it's free. Head over to BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Grab your copy. All right, now let's bring it all together. We've covered a lot of ground in this copy trading deep dive. We have. We've talked about finding traders, setting up our strategy, monitoring performance, and even some of the psychological aspects of copy trading. Right. It's not just about the technical stuff. Exactly. But before we wrap up, I think we need to touch on a few more things that can help us really take our copy trading to the next level. Absolutely. There's always more to learn. We'll cover all that and more in part three. Welcome back to the deep dive. We're wrapping up our epic journey into the world of crypto copy trading. Yeah, we've covered a ton. We have. From, you know, finding the best traders to picking the perfect platform, understanding how all the technical stuff works. We've gone deep. We have. Really explored the tools and strategies, even like the mindset you need to make it in this world. Right. It's not just about the numbers. It's not. So speaking of mindset. Yeah. There's one big piece of the copy trading puzzle we haven't talked about yet, and that's the human element. That's right, the human element. Yeah, you know, like the emotions, the psychology of trading. Absolutely. I feel like that could be a huge factor, even when we're letting someone else make the trades. It is huge. I mean, even though we're relying on someone else's expertise, our own emotions can totally mess things up. Oh, for sure. Like, it's easy to get excited when things are going well. Right. But then those same emotions can really backfire when the market takes a dip. Ugh, yeah. I can see that. Just imagine watching your portfolio go up and down based on someone else's decisions. That's got to be stressful. It is. And you got to remember, losses are inevitable. Yeah, they are. Even the best traders, they're going to have losing streaks. Sure. The key is to not freak out. Manage those emotions. Right. Avoid making impulsive decisions that could hurt your long-term goals. So how do we do that? How do we stay calm and rational when the crypto market is, you know, throwing us all over the place. Well, for me, the most important thing is to really understand your risk tolerance. Okay. How much are you comfortable losing? Right. What are you hoping to achieve? Yeah, what are our goals? Right. Once you've got those boundaries set, stick to them no matter what happens. Like, right around. Yeah. Make it official. This is my crypto constitution, no backing down. I love that. Don't let fear or greed get the best of you. Exactly. And another thing that helps me is to really focus on the long term. The crypto market is volatile in the short term, but over time, it's historically trended upwards. So even if we hit some bumps along the way, you know, even some crashes, just keep our eyes on the prize. You got it. Remember why you're doing this. What are your goals? Right. Keeping that big picture in mind can really help you ride out the storms and avoid making those emotional decisions you'll regret later. It's like, don't sweat the small stuff. Yeah. Focus on the big wins down the road. Exactly. Okay, that's helpful. Anything else? Any other mental tricks we can use? You know what helps me is practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness. Mm -hmm. Like meditation. Yeah. What does that have to do with crypto? Well, mindfulness helps you become more aware of your thoughts, your feelings, even what's happening in your body without judging yourself. Okay. You know, so instead of instantly reacting to every little market move, you take a step back, observe, and then make a rational decision. So it's all about being like calm and objective, even when the market's going crazy. Okay, mindfulness. Yeah. Got it. What else can we do to like boost our copy trading mindset? Cultivate a growth mindset. Growth mindset, Tim. So that means seeing challenges as opportunities to learn and grow, not as failures. So like, even if we make some bad trades, we see them as learning experiences. Exactly. Everyone makes mistakes. It's all about how you handle them. That's a really good point. Yeah. So, okay, even if things get rough on our copy trading journey, we can use those experiences to actually become better traders. You got it. It's all about learning and constantly improving. And speaking of learning. Hold on. Don't tell me. Brian Garvin time, right? Uh, you know it. All right, listeners, one last time. Head over to BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, mm -hmm. and grab your free copy of 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. It's full of amazing advice and strategies to help you crush your online earning goals. Awesome. Okay, back to our crypto wrap-up. We talked about emotions, the long game, that growth mindset. Right. What other human-centered aspects of copy trading should we keep in mind? Well, I think it's important to remember that copy trading, it's a journey, not a destination. Okay. You know, it's a process. It's ongoing learning, adapting. You're constantly refining things. Yeah, it's not just about finding the perfect trader and hitting copy and that's it, right? Right. Don't expect to get rich quick. Right. Be patient, be persistent, and always be ready to adjust as you learn and grow. So we're not just copying trades. We're also, like, 
developing our own skills and knowledge along the way. Absolutely. The more you learn about crypto itself, the better decisions you're going to make about who to copy, how to manage your risk, mm. how to really navigate this crazy world. Well said. <laughs> All right, everyone, we've officially reached the end of our crypto copy trading deep dive. We've covered so much, it's amazing. We have. From finding and evaluating traders, picking the right platform, setting up a strategy, mm -hmm. managing risk, even some of those advanced customization techniques. We've explored the technical side, the strategic side, and even the psychology of it all. Right, the human element. Exactly. We've learned why staying informed and being adaptable are so important. Yeah and to never stop learning. Never stop learning. Couldn't have said it better myself. So we wanna thank you for coming along on this incredible adventure with us. Yes, thank you. Remember, knowledge is power. And the more you learn about copy trading, the better equipped you'll be to reach your crypto goals. So stay curious, stay informed, and keep diving deep.